What is up guys, I'm Ty Karpik, and today I'm playing Terraria. This is episode 47-ish. And, yeah, I heard strange music, and I figured this is what was gonna happen, but oh my god, what is that thing? Uh, strange music, and things started happening, and I got scared, so I started recording. So that's what this is about. I think this is what they call the lunar, or pillar event, I don't know. Um, and I hear that if I die, I have to redo the... Why am I floating like this? Well, that's strange. Uh, <laughs> I, it's, I've read up on this, like, I knew it was coming, I didn't know when, I didn't know anything about this, I've never done it before. Um, so, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, no, oh, I'm just about dead. Oh, I died. Whatever, okay, what's this mean? Do I fail? Do I just not win? Is it all over now? Still shows them on the map, so... I'm gonna go for it. Let's see if it's still funny colored over there. Music change? Okay, there is a music change, so... I'm- I have no clue what to do with these, so that's- that's my issue. Um, like, how do I damage it? What do I, what happens? Do I have to just take out all these fucks? Because I suppose I can do that, but... It seems to be hard work, because they hit, like, goddamn trucks. Boy, oh boy. This is not fun. Get fuckered, you mother. Hey, 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 hey. Stop, stop. Why, why, why must I float? What, what is this? Why, why, why is this? What is this? When is Someone please explain in the comments. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, all I know is I'm getting wrecked. Which is not typically a good sign. Vortexman. Very cool. Now, how do I do stuff to this? Um... Do I just... Uh, I don't know what to do. Do I just keep fighting these mofos? Because that sucks if that's what I gotta do. Uh, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at most of this game, but especially not this. Like, look. I just got wrecked. Okay, I gotta look this up on the wiki. Um... What are these called? Are they still on the map? They are still on the map. Okay. Uh, Terraria Wiki. Okay, just wait. Let me turn on auto pause, and I'll run closer. Okay. Now, uh, solar pillars or. Uh, how about I just look up pillars? Uh, pillar, what are these called? Uh, uh, lunar portal staff, lunar events. Yeah, let's see what this is. Lunar events. Um, so I don't know at all what this is. Okay. Pause real quick. Uh, lunar events are a series of uh, defeating hardcore bosses. Once one is defeated, uh, sections of the world will show a large moon in their backgrounds. Unique high rates. These can be found on the minimap. Defeating a celestial pillar reverts the area back to normal. In order to damage the killer, uh, the pillar, uh, one must first kill. 100 out of 150 enemies, or 100 or 150 enemies, from the area to remove the shield, make it vulnerable to attacks. After defeating all celestial pillars, the impending doom, um, impending doom approaches, statusing that Ferrier's final boss is about to spawn. 
It spawns one minute after the message appears. Oh god, I'm not ready for the Moon Lord. Um, but I guess I gotta be. Well, who? I love Moon Lord. Yay. So I actually, I, I just, yeah, I was right. I just have to kill these motherfuckers. Oh, and I just died again. Nice. So... I guess I can, like, put this into a time lapse or something. Okay, time lapse, yay. I'll speed this up by a few points. Or maybe I should just cut... Um, out the battling and stuff and just skip to the fun part. Oh, I got an alien hornet banner, which means I've defeated 50 of these fucks. So that's cool. Oh, and I died again. Yay! Yeah, so I'll just skip to when the shield is down. Maybe that'll be exciting. Well, I wasn't paying attention. I started recording, but to that thingy, the uh, shield is down. So that's might be important I like this is my first time going through this so honestly I don't know if that's good or not <sighs> dang I uh, moon lord is after this uh, I can't even wrap my head around that so these just stay here until I get rid of all of them that's my wonder um, okay how much health does this fucker seem to be doing quite a bit of damage. So that's good, I think. Um, and... Oh. It's down. Okay. Your mind goes numb. Why is my mind numb? My game's lagging, I know that. Ooh, what's this? Vortex fragment. Oh, what are those for? They sound neat. Let me look it up on the wiki. Um... Vortex Fragment. What does this mean? A uh, Vortex Fragment. Uh, plus, uh, 12 to 60 fragments in normal. Uh, these fragments are used to create uh, armors and stuff and things. Let me see the recipes. Um, so... You take Vortex Fragment. Oh, you can craft the vortex fragments out of s those. So I can make a celestial sigil. Uh, lunar hook. Nebula fragment. Uh, some kind of fancy things. Um, so th I'm guessing that these are the ranged items. Um, vortex die. That looks cool. Um, okay... So these are used for crafting. Stardust fragment. What are stardust fragments used for? Uh, ba -doo -ba -doo. Those are used for the stardust stuff. Okay. What is the celestial sigil? Let me see. Okay, I'll just report back when I figure this out. Okay, I found out what those things are for. They're for doing things, which is very specific, I know. Um, but it's f basically I can't use them until after I defeat a Moon Lord. So that kind of blows, sucks, whatever you want to say. Uh, so where's the next one? The next one is in the Crimson again. Wait, do they always spawn in the Crimson or Corruption? Yep. Or the hollow, I guess. Yeah, they seem to always spawn in those segments of the world. Quite strange, I must say. So, um, I don't know the spawn thingies for these. But I kind of don't want to kill all of them because I need to prepare for Moon Lord. Which I don't think I'm ready for, honestly. Like, I've never fought him, so I couldn't tell you, but, um... Yeah, that guy already seems easier. 
I like the color of this one. Oh, okay. So this one has an archer. And the last one had funny P. Ah, I'm blind. Okay, that was delightfully bad. So I just gotta kill these mofers. Okay, fuck off, eh? Uh, oh, those are hounds. Those are like hell hounds, but not as hellish. Um, so I wonder what this one is. A uh, brain sucker. Damn, I love sucking brain. I love getting brain. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I imagine I love it. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same idea for this one. I'll take out the enemies and then I'll take out the pillar. Done, did it, killed everything. Now I gotta kill that one. Uh, or it killed everything that I needed to, rather. So this one felt much harder than the last pillar. But I also was able to get back from the other pillar much sooner, so after dying. So that might have an impact. Um, but I figured out as soon as I started using potions, it ended up much easier. Um, you are overwhelmed with pain. That doesn't sound nice. Oh, I only got 27 of them. That doesn't sound good. Uh, okay. So now I'll take out whichever one is closest that way. Uh, I hate auto pause. But I really gotta do it because I am wasting my time. Okay. So I'll just go up here. And where is it about? Oh, it's just right over here. So I shall go there, I'll sh give you a quick show of the enemies there. See, I already have the scary music. Uh, Nebula Floater. Ooh, this one is nice background. Very... Oh, really? There's Sandstorm too? Oh, they couldn't have just had normal... Well, this one, there's no ranged attackers so far, so that's pretty good. Okay, uh, so I'll do this, and then I'll come back of taking out the actual pillar itself. Uh, this one was by far the easiest. In fact, I only died once. You might be like, wow, that's, that, that sucks. I never died at all. I never even got close to dying. Well, guess what? Fuck you, that's what. Yeah, I'm getting slightly mad nowadays due to this, but... You know what? Fuck you. That's that. That's what. Um, you overwhelming voices. Oh no! I gotta go get those thingies. Oh no! I was mangled. I done got hassled. I almost killed a hundred of them. <laughs> that was from the terribly. I almost killed a hundred of them star cells by themselves. Hopefully they're still there, and there's seven of them. Cause weird flex, but I could show off all of my trophies I done got from star cells. And luckily, there's still a storm here. Uh, quite happy about that. Give him, uh, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, don't go shit. Uh, okay, those ones are stardust fragments, which I've got more of those than any of the others so far, so I suppose that's good. And I have iron skin and endurance potions. Um, okay, you know what? Fork everyone. By fork, I mean fuck. Fuck everyone. Fuck everything. I'm going to the next one. I can't take on the Moon Lord, but you better believe I'm going to try. So there you go. Um, I'll meet you there, alligator. Um. I should be... No, no, it's on the far end of this biome. Just quite nice, actually, because I hate the fucking sandstorm event. I cannot express in my feelings how much I think that event should be optional. Because you can get valuable loot from it, yes, but... One, I don't use summoners. Uh, what the hell is that? Why doesn't it die? Why? What is this? Oh, this is the melee one. The solar one. That's what I know. Uh, 
across, so yeah, that, that's definitely a thing. Uh, this one seems to be the hardest so far. <laughs> Especially considering that I cannot do anything to it. Or to the, that these guys are scary and I don't like them. Um, the last one was definitely the easiest and it was the coolest looking too. Okay, I just done got wrecked by this. You know what, I'm going to keep this one for uh, off for a while, and in between episodes I'm going to prepare, I'm going to do some things, I don't know what, but yeah. Uh, I hope you liked the video, if you did, like it, if you didn't, dislike it, uh, comment down below something, I don't care, uh, goodbye. And today I'm playing Terraria, this is one of the episodes for sure, I know that much, of my Let's Play series, might as well just sell them, fuck it. And today, I'm going to show you what I crafted in between episodes. So, I got the Stardust Dragon, Dragon Staff. Now, that came from the Stardust Frag... or Star something fragments. Uh, let me see. I think I put them in my piggy bank. Um... Where did I put them in my safe? Yes, I put them in my safe. I'm gonna actually put them somewhere else, so... Um, but yeah, I crafted them from, uh, these fragments that I got from the... Uh, thingy pillars. Yeah, I crafted it from these. And I crafted something from all these, actually. I don't want to be honest. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, another thing I crafted was, indeed, a really awesome gun. Look at this thing. Um, right, I have some chlorified bullets ready, but I'm not going to be using them right now. Uh, I'll be saving that for a different thing. But look at it. I have the musket pouch on, and dang, it shoots fucking fast, and it shoots fucking crazy. It is fucking amazing. It has 57 damage. It is insane! Um, <laughs> the catastrophic mixture of pew pew and boom boom. Yeah, because it shoots bullets, and then every once in a while, an explosion. Uh, so that thing is awesome. But this thing is even better. Um, this has got to be probably, like, the second best magic weapon. I can't really show it right now how it works, but basically, it shoots one of them fuckers, and they home onto targets, and then when they go onto the targets, they do things, and it's crazy. So, to show you how good all this stuff is, before I take out the next solar pillar, I'm going to take out Gollum a few more times, just because I, I can, pretty much, that's why. Why do I still have that mount? I should try to see if I can get a different mount, because... Uh, I want the cosmic car keys, but I haven't... I don't know, honestly, how to do the... Whatever the fuck it's called. Martian Madness, maybe it's called? That sounds right. Martian Madness. When I'm keeping all the mushrooms I collect... Uh, oh, you wanna fuck with me? Huh? You wanna fuck with this boy? I... And yeah, that dragon, it does do... Um, uh, quite a bit less damage than my uh, last pet summoning pet did, but one, it goes through walls, and two, it does way more, like, it does way more damage per second, like, it attacks way faster than the other guy did. Yeah, look at that, I just took that guy out, just with a simple pull of the trigger. It's like the, the best submachine gun in Call of Duty. It, it's like, you, if you, you're at close range and you start firing at something, you win. It's, or no, I guess it's like an LMG, because you get this insane fire rate, and if it's at a close range and you're pointed at it, it's dead. <laughs> so it's it's quite amazing. This thing is still insane. I went on to my other world, the one that's called Ho House, and I defeated the mechanical bosses, all of them, within about a minute. So I know it that it's not as good as it it's not super great to do it in that speed, but it's pretty good, actually. Like, it's alright. Yeah, look at the turtle. Look at that. Look at that. Just boom. Dead. You know what? Fuck it. I'll fight Plantera. I'll fight Plantera to show you how good this fucker is. And you know how much I love fighting Plantera. Okay, fuck you. See? Look at that damage. Uh, okay, now I'll try this thing out on the Plantera. Look! Look! Uh, th half health already. Half health for Plantera already. Look. <laughs> just insane. 
and it homes to the target, so, and they stick around quite a while. Only thing is it can get quite laggy, um, because, yeah, but there we go. Uh, what did I get? I've never seen one of these before. Well, that is, that's a neat looking thing. Oh, cool. That's really cool. Oh, and I got a trophy. Uh, I've gotten very few trophies in this series, and it, quite sad about it. Um, oh, yay, another jungle bat banner. Good thing I don't have any of those. What was I going to check? How much money do I have? Uh, 57. Okay, I'm going to deposit that before I go in, because it's not the actual golem I'm worried about. It's the enemies and traps leading up to golem that are quite fucking annoying. Even though I did take out all but one little uh, thingy. So yeah, look at this against... It's insane. I actually have confidence that I can take out Moonhorde. So that will be what I'm doing next episode. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, see, it, it homes. And it does insane amounts of damage. Did I forget a few spikes there? I did. I still have not got the pick saw, which is quite annoying. Hey, it's Bones McGee. Let's see what you got for me. Uh, no. I want to talk to him. Uh, no. Uh, fuck you, Grave. Shop. I want the counterweight. I think I have this already, but fuck it. Don't have that. Um, and I need a few of those, which I can only afford one. Because apparently they're fucking 50 gold. God damn. Uh, very weak knockback. Six strange damage. Lots of critical strike chance. So I guess I suppose that's good. No, fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you, fuck you. That is no value. Fuck you, fuck you. I don't care. Just fuck you. I don't care. A plant tarot trophy is only worth one gold. Damn. That sucks. Uh, okay, I'll just start off with the gun. I suppose. I want you to come this way, though, fucker. Ah, there we go. Okay, now I'll just start with this. Okay. Just, you know what? Casually take it out. Just destroy it. Destroy Golem. Thank you. Just destroy him. Please. That's what you need to do. I thought it was easy before. Look at it. Not even half of the health taken. Uh, and Bowens McGee is still alive. And they're still floating around. So let me just sell the useless shit to you. Okay. Uh, now I guess I'll do it again. Only downside to this fucker is, as you might see, I've already used uh, six mana potions. Or, no, I've used more than six. It takes a lot of mana. It's 22 mana per ball. So, I can just summon you like that. You know what, fuck it. Just send those right at it. It can't do anything if it's up there. You can't dodge my attacks. What do you think you are? There we go. Just finish you completely. Like I, I don't even got to heal in between battles. It's insane, and I love everything about it. I, I honestly don't want to take out Moonlord because I want to take out the whatever it's called, Lunatic Cultist using this. I got rid of that. Um, Sunstone increases stats of one during the day. I don't know if I have one of those. So I'm gonna keep it. Uh, oh, that's six gold, though. Hmm. You know what? Fuck it. I will. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, so let's just do it again. So let, let's take it out. Uh, almost done with the hand. Yes, yes, yes. Done, done, done. Done, done, done. You ever heard the story? <laughs> you know what's a good movie? The... Did I get the pick saw yet? No, I didn't. Ah! I want the pick saw! Uh, the movie Walk the Line. It's about Johnny Cash. It's a really good movie. Um... And I would recommend watching it. It has uh, Jock Giz Phoenix, which is the guy who plays Joker, if you didn't know. 
Um, and he does her. Ah, there we go. Finally, Pixaw. Now this, it can finally. I can do the thing. Ah, there we go. And I got the achievement. I can break the lizard bricks. Woohoo. Yay. So now I'm going to put this in my piggy bank and never use it again because besides the fact it can break those bricks, it really sucks. Um, okay. And I have one more battle I can do. Oh, you're back up to full health. Nice to see that you're doing well. I'm just going to sell you some more things. Because I don't need... Oh, I just sold that. Oh, I got a golem mask every time. That's cool. I don't want none of those. I want the traps. The traps are good. <laughs> so now I don't need to use my teleporter anymore. Yay. Because if you didn't remember, the teleporter sucked a bunch of big, fat horse cock. That's right, teleporter. You sucked dick. Not just normal dick. You sucked huge dick. And there we go. That got easier every time I did it. What is that? Oh, a rune wizard! Ah, sick. Uh, let me see that. That will now be my outfit. As, yes. I am a rune wizard. That's what I get from that one. A stinger? Eh, don't want it. Uh, that's worth basically nothing. That's worth quite a bit. And honestly, it kind of looks better. No, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Just stop. There we go. Hmm. I want to change my outfit, but I don't know what to change it to, so yeah. So that that's basically a review of my overpowered weapons that I got. Um, They work quite nice, not gonna lie. I could have bought another glove. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, I got a platinum. Coin, that's good, I suppose. Hey, with that platinum coin, you know what I'm gonna buy? I'm gonna buy something that's pretty cool looking that used to be a developer exclusive item, but apparently is no longer. Uh, and I, when I got one of these, it was like, wow, my friends were like just insanely jealous, I guess is the word. Steampunk wings, yay! Look at them. They don't look cool. <laughs> Actually, they look kind of cool. They fly quite fast, too, I just noticed. Okay, can I fly it up to the platform up there? Okay, so they do fly higher than the bat wings, but not by much. Oh, bat wing. Yeah. Uh, so now I will see on the price of reforging, even though I just spent all my money. Uh, 33 gold. Let's do it. Violent. 48 gold. Can't afford it. That's what I get. Violent. Um. Kind of sucks, but. Yeah. That, that's where that is. So. I guess now I'll go and take out this. No, I'll do that next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Terraria of me just fooling around, basically. Uh, if you did enjoy it, you can do something. I, yeah. Uh, goodbye. I'm Ty Corporate and today. I have changed my vanity. Uh, so now I'm a cool wizard guy. It's called the Solar Cultist outfit. I bought it from the Clothier. So now I'm going to take on the last solar pillar. And when I am done this shit, I'm the fuck? Did I just get one shot? Maybe I'm not ready for the... Moon Lord. I suppose that would be matters of opinion, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try to take on that last solar pillar. Um, I'll just... I'll cut back... To the point when... I'm going to destroy the pillar.